all, how easy it is to make a delicious Italian sub, Genian style. This recipe is absolutely amazing. So easy to make. It doesn't require a lot of ingredients. If you make it Jeannie Young style, you're gonna be so happy you tried this recipe. Now, I'll be showing you how to make them cold, but what we're gonna do is we are gonna throw these into the oven because that's how my husband prefers to eat them. I prefer to eat them cold. He prefers to eat them hot. This recipe is super delicious. Here's the ingredients you're gonna need. I have some beautiful hard salami here and it's cut nice and thin so when you go to your local meat market or deli ask them to cut it thin all right and then i have some beautiful mortadella oh my goodness talk about delicious this stuff right here it's good it's good we have some beautiful provolone not smoked provolone okay and then i have some gorgeous ham here now if we can talk about the ham really quickly i would prefer for you all to use a hot capricola ham if you can find it okay and if you can't find it just get a really good grade ham you're going to need some oil i have some uh, uh olive oil here light olive oil and we'll be mixing it with the red wine vinegar to make a nice vinaigrette or an italian dressing so to speak we're going to put some salt and pepper in it we're also going to put some gorgeous Italian seasonings in our dressing. I have shredded lettuce that I've washed off, and I have an Italian loaf here, fresh Italian loaf. If you want it for your bread or your sandwich to be much thinner, then of course uh, you could possibly use this Italian loaf. Just be sure not to get the one that's uh, crusty, okay, because it's crispy all the way through. All right, and I have a beautiful tomato, sweet vidalia onion, and banana peppers. Get the mild or the hot, whichever you choose. I hope y'all are having an amazing day today. Let me know in the comment section, who loves a good sub? Oh my goodness, I love a good sub. So now if you take a look at my meat here, I have taken out some of the, the bread because it's super fluffy, it's gorgeous, it tastes good, but sometimes you don't want a whole lot of bread with your sub, right? So I just took some pieces out. And with the extra pieces that I took out, I threw it into a freezer bag, okay? And then you throw it in the freezer and next time you need some good bread crumbs, use that. It makes for great bread crumbs. Okay, so now that we have our bread done and nice and sliced, you wanna use a serrated knife if this is not already cut and just kind of saw through it in such a manner. Okay, so right away, I'm gonna get started with my veggies. Let's get some veggies nice and cut. This tomato is beautiful. Oh, hoo-wee. I live for a good sub, I really do. And it has to have a delicious Italian dressing on it, you know? I feel like uh, there's a lot of places that we can go and order a sub, of course, but if it doesn't have the freshest of ingredients and it just, you know, they put pickles on it, I don't feel like an Italian sub should have pickles on it, you know? <laughs> and a lot of people, really, this is pretty interesting, a lot of people feel like an Italian sub shouldn't have lettuce on it. But, you know, I guess you can kind of, you know, whatever you want to do, but this is my version and it tastes so good and when i make this recipe my family gets super excited they will wrap these up in foil yeah they will they'll wrap them up in foil and then put them in a ziploc bag and just eat them later on that day or you know the next day they live for this so i know if they don't eat them right away they definitely eat them all right, gorgeous. And then when you get, uh, normally like at Walmart or wherever you shop at, you can find this nice fresh bread. And then look how many you can cut. You know, you can cut so many out of just that one loaf there. All right. So now that I'm done with my tomat, let's go ahead and get some onion cut. <clears throat> you guys, uh, you may hear that I still have a cold. I, I'm fighting this cold, y'all. I am fighting 
this cold. I really am. So it's been over a week that I've been sick and it's not fun. <laughs> I'm not happy about it. Really, I'm not. Dakota brought the cold home, of course, from school. You know, you know that's how it goes. And uh, my husband was sick for a couple of days. Next thing you know, I was sick and I'm still sick. <laughs> but I'm, I'm getting there. So now, if you decide that you want some onion, absolutely you can. But I do feel like an onion can ruin a sandwich. If it's too pungent, a pungent onion can ruin like everything. So what do I do? In this bowl here, I have some water and my ice melted, okay? But so I'll put some more ice in there. And so we'll soak our onion in a nice ice bath, right? And when we soak the onion in the ice bath, we kind of take that pungent flavor away, okay? So we're gonna cut our onion, soak it in the ice water just for about 10 to 15 minutes. And I promise you, your onions won't be so pungent. Okay, everyone, so now we have our onions nice and sliced. Let's go ahead and put them into the ice bath so we can, you know, kind of calm the onion down. All right, I don't want the strong onions. I may even decide not to put onions on the sub at all. We'll just kind of see. But it's still great to throw this trick out there to you all so you know how to do it. Because you may be that person that I uh, wants to put some fresh red onion into a nice spinach salad or something. But in the back of your mind, you're like, I want it, but it's too, uh, the onion's too strong. Do this and I promise you it works, okay? So we'll set this aside in the meantime, between time. Okay, let's get any water off of here. Let's assemble our sub just like so. Gorgeous. All right, I, I know, I know, I'm always cleaning up. I have to have it clean around me and if it's not, I'm not happy. <laughs> All right, so here's our meat. First thing I wanna do is I'm going to lay um, the ham down, okay? And you wanna do, it's, it's almost like called a fluffing technique where you kinda just let the ham fall just like so. I mean, you can fold it over depending on the size, but you kind of do a number like this. I, you can, you get the gist, right? And shingle the meat. When you shingle the meat, nobody is gonna ever feel like your sub doesn't have enough meat. And then you don't have to use too much, right? So, let's do this with this great ham. My goodness, are you kidding me? Wee, it smells so good. Mm, 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 mm. There we go. Look at took it. Oh, so I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees so we can bake this sub. Like I said, feel free to have it cold, but when I do have this sub cold, I want mayonnaise. If it's cold, I don't want the uh, vinaigrette or the Italian dressing, you know. I want mayonnaise. Beautiful. We're getting there. Then we're going to go in with our mortadella. Mortadella is like, it's like the Corvette. I, I, you know, it, it's, it, it's going to remind you of bologna. It really will. But it's like the Corvette of bologna. You hear me? Oh, look at that. Now, a lot of times when you go to your local deli, you may see little green pieces in it. And what the green pieces, this one doesn't have it. But what the green pieces are, are pistachios. Oh, listen, if you like pistachios, oh my goodness, you'll love a good mortadella. All right, so let's get that on there just like so. Same thing, beautiful. Oh, mm, mm, mm. Super excited about this. Gorgeous. My husband just came in here and tasted a piece of this. He's like, that stuff is good. I said, I know, baby. <laughs> I know, baby. All right. Look at that. And the next meat that we'll do will be, of course, your hard salami. I like to put the hard salami on the top. I really wish. 
that I could have um, found the um, hot capicola ham because it's beautiful. It's just the meat that's needed. But like I said, you can use the ham, you know. It works. And it works well. Beautiful. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do, let's go ahead and shingle our salami. You can fold it or you can put it like that, whatever floats your fanny. Okay, I think I'll just shingle it today. Yes. Oh, wee. I'm telling you, this, this sandwich is good. It is. I can't wait till I begin to feel better. I, I, when I put the video on Paul's, I couldn't stop sneezing. It was like I went into a sneezing fit. And I'm like, are you, are you kidding me right now? <laughs> you know? So now you think of this. When you heat this up, okay? When you heat this up, you decide if you want to heat it up with your tomatoes. I'm a person that if I order a sub, if I order a sub out, I'll say, can you cook my tomatoes on my sub? But I'm pretty sure that the world doesn't like theirs like I like mine. So what I'll do is I'll put the tomatoes on after this comes out and it's nice and cooked, okay? I feel like that's how more people want it, okay? So let's go ahead, put our provolone, just like so. Gorgeous. I, I we rarely ever buy provolone, but when I'm making subs, this is the cheese of choice, always. Uh, sometimes we will use like a thin, sharp cheddar, but making subs, provolone is gonna get you, get you ready. <laughs> get you where you wanna be. Okay, so now this will go on as we put our lettuce on. Let's go ahead and take our baking pan that we'll be using. I'm gonna put that right there. I'll also put this on. Now, because this top does not have anything on it right now, you'll take this out earlier, okay? We don't want it to get too crispy. Okay, we're looking for the meat to get nice and warm and you can, you know, feel the inside. You'll know when the meat's warm. The cheese will be melted all over. I'm going to suggest to you all, if you wanted to use the onions on this up, now's the perfect time. And I would sneak the onions under the cheese. Okay, let's get this into the oven just like so. And now we're going to get started on our vinaigrette. We have our oil. Get your red wine vinegar. Put it in. And really, just really get it in there, okay? I will put in the description how much of each ingredient you need to make it successful and to make it taste good. Okay, if you can't find red wine vinegar, use a um, malt vinegar. Gorgeous. Let's put some pepper. Don't be afraid. A little bit of salt because you need it, like you need it. Beautiful. Italian seasoning, and I put a nice amount in there, okay? This is that same stuff that they'll charge you eight dollars for at your local deli you know you go to the deli you look right on the side of the deli they got a little cute little bottle that says vinaigrette or sub oil this is that stuff this is that same stuff and look how easy we made it i must taste it i know i must taste it oh mm -hmm. mm. <coughs> taste super when i come back our subs will be coming out of the oven. We're going to finish assembling them. We're going to say an amazing prayer, and you, you're you going to get that first bite. Take a look at our sub. Nice, melty. The meat is gorgeous. It's got like a little char around the outsides, and I'm super happy. Keep in mind that I took this piece out a bit earlier so it didn't get too hard. <clears throat> so now here's what we're going to do. Put your desired amount of lettuce, or you don't have to. 
There's nothing like an iceberg lettuce, right? Iceberg lettuce will do the trick. Iceberg lettuce will get you ready. Look at that. Beautiful. And then I have tomatoes, but we cannot and we won't ever use tomatoes without seasoning them. Always season your tomatoes. They tomatoes. Yes, yes, yes. Gorgeous. Pepper, a little tiny bit of salt. Don't get wild with it. And same thing, shingle them. Wee, look at that. The salt and pepper really sets these tomatoes off. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Gina, that is what you call a sub. You bet it is. You bet it is. So now, banana peppers, if you choose, they're gorgeous and they give such an amazing flavor. I feel like you need them. But if you got little ones and they don't want it, that's fine. Just put some on your part. <laughs> There we go, oh my. I feel like we can remove this from our hot pan. Whee, there we go. And I want to put some of this gorgeous vinaigrette onto the bread. Ho oh, oh. And then we'll put some over the sub. Yikes. Whee! There we go. Save some of this gorgeous vinaigrette. Your family, they might want to put more on. Look at that. If you all enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Tell your family, tell your friends, tell everyone you know what Gina Young is doing in this kitchen on a daily basis. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this meal. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. Amen once again to my beautiful prayer. Let's assemble. We're going to cut it. Well, what we'll do, let me get the serrated knife so I can cut it. And then you guys take a look at this. God bless you all. Thanks for watching. Good night.